Okay, welcome to the official how to upload photos to the Pawprint Network Drive screencast brought to you by me, Mr. J. Ha! Aren't you surprised? Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to get the camera that you took the pictures from and plug it into the computer. If that's confusing to you, don't worry about it. I got some pictures coming up to show you exactly how to do that. But presumably, if you already know how to do that, you've done so. And so now you're sitting at one of the four workstations uh, that's uh, against the window in my classroom, 2009. And, uh, and you're going to log in as the Pawprint user, click on the Start button, go to All Programs, find the directory or the program file for Picasa 3, and fire that on up. So that's going to launch. Look, it's by Google. Aren't we, we all excited? And up here, handily located in the left-hand corner, is an image of a camera with the words import. That's what you want to do. You are going to import photos, so click on that. What's important to realize, you're going to import photos not to the computer that you're sitting in front of, but rather to the network drive. Here's why. If you put photos on the network drive, every computer in this room can access them. If you put them only on the computer you're sitting in front of, then they can't, and then they're going to have to fight over that computer, and it's going to be a problem, because you don't want people you know, fighting over a computer when we have so many. So, select up in the top here where it says Import From. If these photos don't automatically show up, you have to you can click this arrow, drop down menu, you're going to select Canon, Digital Rebel, or Removable Disk, whatever is there, and you're going to see a, a list of photos. So, down in the right-hand corner here where it says Import To, this is where we, we make sure we import to the network drive. So we're going to select Choose. It's going to come with this handy little screen. Select My Computer here. Find Paw Print N Drive. Open that up. You're going to want to locate the directory Paw Print 2010, 2011. Uh, or I guess in the future if it's 2011, 2012, or, or whatnot. Find the directory that corresponds with the year you're in Paw Print open that up and you will find a list of folders that have the year and the month so 2010-09 that's September 2010, 2010-010 that would be October I'm going to select the October one you'll notice there is an images directory you're going to want to click on images and select OK now you're not done yet you want to make sure these images go into a specific folder in this case um, yeah, I'm going to create a folder title and we're going to call it how to upload photos and I'm going to tell it to leave the card alone so that I'm the one deleting photos from the card not uh, not the software program now I don't want all these photos and you'll notice in this example there all these X's mean that these photos have already been uploaded so I'm gonna scroll down to get to the bottom here and these are the photos that I want so I'm just gonna click and drag and uh, is what, which is one way to highlight them, or I can click on each photo individually and hold down the control button, and it will select the, um, just the photos that that I want. So I'm not going to select import all because I already have uh, a lot of these photos. I'm just going to select import selected, and uh, we will get a little window here that uh, that shows us that we are indeed importing only the selected files and as that begins to uh, develop we will watch with great anticipation so I'll be back in one minute when these have finished upload looks like we're just about done finishing up it's completing the import which we are very excited about and we're going to uh, come back over here so we can see the whole Picasso window now you'll notice over here where it says folders, those uh, we're not seeing the photos, and this could happen to you. So this is really important. If you're not seeing the photos, you need to complete the following step: go up to File, located right up here in the left-hand corner, and click Add Folder to Picasa. Now we don't want to select Add File to Picasa because we don't want to copy the images directly onto this computer. We want the computer to go out to the network and find them. So we're going to select Add Folder to Picasa. It's going to come up with a window that looks a lot like this. And you'll notice here on the, uh, the right-hand side we have a key. So the green check is scanned once, the red X is removed from Picasa, 
and the blue circle is scan always. Now scan always is going to be our friend because that will tell the, uh, the software program to always go out and find the images we're looking for. Now we'll see 2010.10, uh, that's October. Remember that's where we upload the photos to. That's a red X. Hmm, that's part of a problem. Ah, we see images here as a red X. Hmm, and then we see that the, uh, the, the directory we, we selected has a red X. Now to make life easy, instead of just having to select one directory at a time, I'm going to tell Picasa to always scan for photos in the images directory. So if somebody else comes in here and, and uploads photos from a different computer, this workstation will always always be looking for images directly uploaded into uh, the images folder. So I'm going to select OK. And uh, Picasa is going to go to work and it's going to, uh, to go do some scanning. And it's going to work really hard. And uh, what we'll what you might see is over, oh, it happened so fast, you can't even see it. Maybe, all right, over in the right-hand corner here, the uh, Picasso saying, hey, I'm copying these, hey, I'm copying these, I'm scanning, I'm scanning, I'm working really hard. Picasso's a workhorse, we get, we get really excited about that. And uh, it's going out and it's locating each one of these, full, each one of these, uh, these images. And so sometimes this might take a minute. But have no fear, it will do its job. Remember, it's created to do one purpose, and, and this is it. And then soon enough, we'll see that those images rather have been added to the Picasso library. Check this out. You'll notice there's a folder right here. It says how to upload images, and we see all of the images. And this is where we're going to talk about how to connect a camera to a computer if uh, you're not sure. So you, uh, you can always, if you hop up behind my desk, you can see that there's a bulletin board with two cords, one's black and one's white, they're both the same, doesn't matter, just grab one. And you're going to want to connect that to the computer. Uh, if it's the gray camera, notice we have the gray camera and the white cord pictured here. On the, uh, the left hand side of the camera, there's a little flap, pull it open, as pictured in this image, and plug the camera into it right here. Uh, that's to the small end, uh, the, the male end will plug in there, and the USB end goes into the computer as, as pictured here. Now it's important if you're not, if you're saying, hey, the computer can't find my camera, make sure it's on. In some cases, the camera will auto shut off if it's been on for too long with no action, so you can just flip that switch back and forth, it'll turn back on, and Picasso will find it under the, the import section, which, just in case you're wondering, is over here. See a little camera, select import, grab the import from, and away you go. The, uh, if you have the black camera, you can use a cord, or you can open up the camera, grab the card, and get this little USB reader out of the left hand, upper left hand corner, or upper left hand drawer of my desk, rather, and, uh, and plug that in. And that just goes right into, well. So this has been uh, the screencast about how to upload photos to the paw print network drive. Uh, if you get it all confused, feel free to go back and watch this again. Otherwise, uh, thank you for stopping by the Paw Print Screencast Show.